Hi guys, welcome to the channel. So today I'm going to talk about difference between test scenario and test cases. And this video is going to be my fifth video on my playlist test cases. Many people on my channel requested me to make a video on this topic. So finally I'm making today. And I'm sure that you guys will learn something new today. So let's get started. So talking about my test scenario, it is a high level documentation. When we talk about test cases, it is a low level documentation or we can say it's a detailed documentation. Your test scenario consists of a single line. Your test case consists of multiple components in it and each component have various steps. By looking into the test scenario, it won't be easy for someone who don't have the project knowledge to execute the scenarios. With the help of test cases, even though you don't have a knowledge of product or your project, anyone can execute all the steps. Since it's a high level document or it is a very single line, if someone don't have any knowledge about the product or the project, it will be hard for him to execute the scenario. But on the other hand, if you look at the test cases, even though a person do not have a knowledge of what is the project, or what is the software even though he don't have any knowledge about the project he is working on but if you give someone the test cases he will be able to execute it because it has lot of steps to reproduce it your test scenario does not have the data that you need to enter to your application to test it but your test case have the data that you need to enter to your application to exactly test it your test scenario just say what to test but on the other hand your test case says how to test your application your test scenario is derived from the requirement. Once someone gives the requirement, then we will we'll start writing the test scenarios. On the other hand, your test cases are derived from the test scenarios. So this is one of the major difference between test scenario and test cases. Your test scenario consists of a single line which says what to test. But on another hand, your test cases will have serial number, your test scenarios, your steps to reproduce, your precondition, your expected output, your actual output, your actual result, whether it is pass or fail, your bug ID if it is having and whether it is automated or not. As you can see on the screen, your test scenario will have only a particular line which says what to test. On another hand, if you look into the screen now, your test case will have each and everything which will make anyone understand completely how to test it. So your test case is having your serial number, your test scenario, your steps to reproduce, your precondition, your expected output, your actual output, your result, whether it is pass or fail, bug ID, if any bug is there or not, or whether it is automated or not. So these are the components that make your test scenario and test case differ. With the help of your test scenario, we validate or we check whether the functionality of your application is working perfectly fine or not. On another hand, if you look into the test cases, here we validate whether the test scenario is correct or not. Your test scenario required less time to write it. On another hand, your test case required more time to write it. As I have said already, your, since your test scenario is a single line and your test case has lot of li lines in it, lot of components in it, it usually takes lot of time to write it resource to write and execute the test scenario is less compared to the resource that is needed to actually write the test cases and finally execute it guys when i say resource i mean test engineers or the engineers who need to execute that or the engineers who need actually to write your test scenario and test cases so if you just have to write a scenario the resource which is needed is very less and even to execute those test scenario the resource which is needed is less but if you want to write test cases, the resource which is needed and the test engineers which are required are more. Since it is a lengthy process, it has lot of steps in it. It usually takes time. It usually requires more manpower. If I have to give a real time example for test scenario, I will say that validation of login functionality of a Gmail account with correct credential. That's it. So this is your test scenario. But when it comes to your test case, you will be having serial number. So serial number you can give anything. And after that, there will be a scenario like validation of login functionality of a Gmail account with correct credentials. And then there will be steps to reproduce. If you see on the screen, and then there will be preconditions. And then there will be actual result, expected result. So this is how your test scenario and test cases actually differ. Guys, if you are actually a fresher, 
then this is one of the favorite questions that you can come across and people can ask you what is the difference between test scenario and test cases whatever the nine points i have said it you can tell the same in interview or anyone so this is all about from this video guys if you have any doubt list drop your doubt in the comment section let me know which video i should make next put out your all doubts in the comment section i will be clearing all your doubts if you really think this video was useful give a thumbs up to this video subscribe to my channel software testing by mgd and please share this video with any friends thank you guys